he probably do end up getting a white girl. Not because he want her, but because it's the image and the look. I need a white girl by my side, okay? You know who else said that? Kanye West said that shit. And look what kind of trouble got him into. He ain't been the same since his mama died. He ditched black women and started dating white women or white adjacent women like the Kardashians, Amber Rose, and all these motherfuckers like that. They say Bianca is a plan in his life. This as well as uh, Brett a plant in Rose Miller life. Brett Miller, you beat the shit out of Rose. I seen it with my own eyes. Okay, I seen the aftermath. That's what I want to say. Looked like her eyes was hanging out like she had thyroids. And you went to jail not even two weeks ago, nigga. And now you up here talking about how much you love your wife. When are we going to cancel and treat white men the same way y'all do the brothers, huh? Hey, YouTube. Welcome or welcome back. Uh, today, it's just me on the video. We do get a lot of comments and concerns. And I'm just going to address one that I get every now and then and I find silly. But we're going to take some time to address it. The comment that we got is... And the white man don't leave, or and the white man don't leave. You a narcissist. What about the black woman don't leave? Or what about the black woman kick the white man to the curb when he been to put cartoon knots on her motherfucking head, like as if he was a black man? It wouldn't be no question and concern. Her ass would have went up in numbers, clicks and views, trauma bonding with other black women about getting rid of a black man that to put cartoon knots on top of her motherfucking head. So we supposed to give you a pass? Nigga, you a big bike punk, biking punk, nigga. And you put cartoon out so top of her motherfucking head. And we supposed to forget about that. Boy, get your ass up off of this internet. Did you leave her, bro? She acted up. She acted funny. Simple answer for that, honestly, is that's not what you do in a marriage. You know, for better, for worse, for sickness and health, that's not what you do in a marriage. Anytime we get in an argument. Listen, your views ain't all that impressive. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Shout out to Jaguar, right? Because that's apply to you. Ever since you knocked Rose upside her motherfucking head and you done got out, didn't do no time, no day, and she acting like that, we don't, we didn't see that. She acting like she didn't bring that to line and express it and stuff. You think, nah, you played the wrong move, sir. You played the wrong move. Nigga, black men gonna cancel you. And black women don't appreciate that, nigga. You are a woman abuser. You are a woman beater, sir. Well, you are a woman beater, period. Fuck wrong with you. You got this muscle shirt on like you go to the gym. You don't go to the gym, bitch. You got the gay uniform on, fuck, nigga. You don't even live the way you sitting at. You guys are seeing the aftermath of the argument where Rose, it got so heated and maybe I said something like you know fuck it let's just separate and at that moment when she's arguing with me she's not arguing with her husband she's arguing with someone who just told her like boy yeah, shut up we're not together anymore or whatever you guys do not see what i actually have you do not see the woman that i actually have so let me break it down for you a little bit i have a wife that i made a housewife for about a year year and a half and you have a hoe that you made a housewife you had a hoe that was going to support you in your bum ass habits a hoe that found you on a bed that was growing not only bed bugs, but plants out that shit, nigga. You was sleeping underneath the Vegas bridges, nigga. And you used this black girl and y'all co-conspired to create this whole identity to come online and do all of this shit. Look at this. Oh, here's a screenshot of what we did and how it is, nigga. You ain't stayed gone for nothing. You ain't got no credit hours, no nothing. Talking about you were going to be a flight attendant. Yeah, right, bitch, you was getting your shit pushed in over there with that man that you really want, the one that you was supposed to get that apartment with, Brett. Oh, Lord. 45 years old. What you doing in an apartment with a man? You gay, 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 and mo gay, nigga. I was gone a lot. I believe it's Les Brown. If you give her the time, then she can't have the money. If you give her the money, then she can't have your time. Well, my wife obviously loves them both. She wanted to find a way to do both. So, so he want us to believe that he was taking care of her. The whole time when he was gone, right? Mind you, this man got a whole relationship with a skinny black dude that looked like he got AIDS, yo. And that's the dude in Vegas that he was roommates with at 45 years old. You want us to believe you would take care of her when she would go? Okay. So why the dynamic is she taking care of you right now? Why the dynamic is when y'all go to Hawaii, you ain't got shit lined up. You ain't no entrepreneur. Because we saw you working for the Asian man in Hawaii. Lying, talking about you making six figures when all you doing is, is unloading ships from dry goods. Okay? From non-perishables. Perishables. Because all the perishables, you going to eat, motherfucker, with your big ass. 
You ain't making six figures. You ain't making nothing. Nigga, you got this black woman taking care of you and you done beat her eyes out her head like she had thought rules is the issue. I got with you, nigga. I've got a wife that I made a housewife. They sit at home Stop and lying. take care of you. I'm going to be gone. Uh, and she's like, that's that's not good enough. I need you here with me and I need you here to... Stop lying. He lying, y'all. He lying. To experience these kids' lives and to grow. And this is my first time being a father, so I didn't realize how valuable that was. I didn't realize how amazing that was that i've got somebody that's going to do that for me i've showed you guys this a thousand times and he said this is the first time that he gets to be a father this video was posted 23 hours ago 24 hours ago okay since i pulled up the tab let's give him the benefit of the doubt but sir don't you got a whole nine-year-old daughter a mono white daughter y'all selling people on the ideology that y'all are a blended family in order for it to be a blended family, you need to bring your mono white daughter around her biracial and mono black kids and around her mono black ass. She didn't got her hair shaved to remind you that nigga, that skinny black dude that you really in love with in Vegas. That's who she really compete with. So you're lying. Where your daughter at? Where your white daughter at? The lady said she don't want nothing to do with you. Say you're crazy, crazy, more crazy. Matter of fact, they say Brett get a disability check, so he ain't even got to pay child support. I gave this tattoo for my wife Rose because I truly thank her for my family. You do not know how important it is to me to have this family, to have this wife that Child, allows me to be in this family and allows me to like do as much as that I Lord, able to do. I feel so bad for you. Like I ain't even gonna cap when I think of a nigga bitch, I see Rose image, Rose Miller, okay? I mean somebody's being pimped and prostituted to keep this narrative up for somebody white. Okay, they treat you like Aunt Jemima, but you really willing to do it for and cool and shuck a jive for this negative views ain't impressive. So what does my wife do? She finds a way to pull in more income for my family. She goes out there and she creates all these businesses that she can think of. And she also creates and live from Airbnb to Airbnb for how long? Can y'all please stay in one spot so the kids can at least finish a whole school year before you move them? You know how traumatizing it is for kids to go to school and make friends, knowing that there's you don't have a phone, you don't have social media, or if you're on social media, you're looking at what the parents are doing in a mess. You know how traumatizing it is for kids to keep moving schools? I thought you said you this was your first time being a father. At least somebody giving you a chance. A whole bald-headed woman that looked like the man that you in love with in Vegas giving you a chance. Ain't you supposed to be holding it down? P.O.P. holding it down? Channel, this YouTube channel to where we can actually go out and be a family and film it and just enjoy ourselves, create these memories, solidify them, you know, in history for our kids when they grow up. And to make videos about how great of a father I am or how... How great uh, of a what? You know, amazing husband and dad. Sir, you ain't no father to that man. Let's be clear. You ain't no father to them children. We see how you want to unalive them children. When you pick them up with your hand like that, and you hope and pray that they make a false move so you can snap the neck and go back to all the videos when you did it and claim negligence, child, please. You look like you've been wanting to unalive him, her, and the rest of them, okay? You just got Rose sitting there because she taking care of you. Because she remind you that skinny black man, bald-headed black man with alopecia that you in love with in Vegas. I am to, to, to highlight those moments that I'm doing right and to show the world and to build me up in your minds about how, what a great father I am and what a great husband I am. Who do you have that does that for you? Who do you have in your life that like literally praises you? So I get that all the time. For no, I didn't ask for it for no Please reason. stop with the dramatic music, sweetheart. You done found uh, the ooh, in the YouTube, you know, audio catalog. So YouTube obviously want to push and promote. She manipulating the system. Niggas don't fuck with you. You cancel, Rose. You ain't got nothing but artificial technology on your side. And the people have spoken. Bitch, we don't give a fuck what the system say about you. Like, we don't give a fuck what the system say about Will, Jada, any celebrities. Niggas ain't fucking with you no more, Rose. Let's be clear. You got this YouTube audio, YouTube so thirsty, they want to make a bag, they want to push the audios and the little theme music, like you had an orchestra and all that shit, girl, bye, you gripping the people, nigga said, Brett, fuck you up, and he go, you gonna have to stand on that with your bald-headed ass, we the people want you to break up with this nigga and show this nigga the same way that that black man that you done treated like a trash and dogged him out and prevented him from seeing his kids when he didn't even put his hands on you, but this white man did, though.
Oh, no. And for you to say that now that she's going through a postpartum or bipolar episode or anything, any sort of mental stress that she's going through because she does this and she stays up at night putting these together. Oh, so you ain't got nothing to do with her mental health and... And let me blame her 100%. She stays up and she goes off the railing and she's going to agree with me because she's happy to be getting some attention by, by a white dude that's old enough to be her father and, and, and actually more interested in the men that look like her. And now she has to cut all her hair off because, you know, Brett don't like to feel no woman. Yeah, he like to grab it like that with some ball in his ass. Thinking, creating these thoughts, putting all this together so that we, we could grow Look, I've also got a wife that's willing to relocate across the country for me that was something she it's for her too I'm sure but for me that's something that for she you needs. okay there was some whole people oh no it was Rose's idea to go to Hawaii no 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 it was his idea to go to Hawaii his idea every white man that want to be free and want to be happily gay ever after they want to go to Hollywood, or they want to go to Hawaii if they ain't got no talent. Okay? ...that I desired. I do not want to stay still, sit in one place, and just die. I want to explore, I want to experience, and she has the same goals. There's been two, maybe, a uh, touch more small episodes, or, or one that's become big. Two or three episodes that have made it out there to where you guys were able to see and some people capture it and you know try to put it in everybody else's face you guys were able to see a negative moment in our marriage my wife's having a, a bipolar episode or a uh -oh. hormonal attack and she's so stupid she letting him create this history that she's not opposing like i said he put his hands and feet on both her and her child and they think they finna come out here and we ain't gonna forget that hell no Hell no. Mm -mm. You put your hands and your feet on that lady. You went to jail. She told her son to lie for you. If her son seen his father, he would tell the truth about you. And that's why she don't want her kids to go to their father. Because she's afraid of what they're going to say. They're going to say what's happening behind the scene. They're going to say why you was arrested. Not even two weeks ago for family assault, a battery. They're going to say that. And now you're on the Internet playing these games with this fucking fucking this dude is fucking nasty and fucking evil and disgusting to the point to where you would come online and cooperate. If she crazy and having mental episodes, what make you think she ain't mentally challenged and just needs you to be her handler? For her to make a bag on YouTube and for you to take care and be the father figure that she always wanted in her kid's life. So you coming online telling us she crazy and she has mental episodes to go along with exactly what her mother said about her to absolve yourself, bitch. He lied but to kill this girl. He lied but to kill this girl. And the only thing that we got and the public got. Is the fact that he came out and said that she was crazy and bipolar. The mother did too. And she didn't oppose it. And it was on her channel. So then you go going to have these conspiracy theories. Oh, Rose Miller. And she is, And Brett said she was crazy. And yada, 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 yada. I see it. He going to end up killing her. Watch this. And then I'm not dealing with her properly. And I'm not addressing it properly. And I'm taking that argument. And I'm making it more negative. It's like, wait, why don't we just, you know what? Why don't we just call it? Why don't you separate? You know, those are words. Uh oh. Not supposed to use in a marriage. So she's not saying that stuff to her husband in the moment. She's saying that to someone who decided to uh, abandon her or, or someone that decided. So she's not saying that to her husband. She's saying that to somebody who decided to abandon her. What the fuck are you talking about? That, that lets me know that you're bipolar. You think whenever you go off in a certain mental state that. She's not talking to her husband and you're not acting like the husband. You're, oh, I'm just, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. I just changed and transformed. Just so, shit, me. Why your family don't support you in this interracial marriage, but you got a mono white daughter that you can't take care of? I believe Brett family is racist and he's racist. And when he go on these racist tangents, 
and doing these things out of his hate for Rose. Let's be clear. Rose hate black men. If a black woman hate black men, your next best thing is to find a white man to somehow oppress that black man. That's your get back. You know what that looked like? Going to the court, making sure he can't see his kids, calling the police, getting a restraining order, doing all these legal technical things and white ran institutions and systems to op up against this black man. So that's what that's the game she playing. So let's keep it a being. I think she got some type of BDSM race play, just like Kanye West. Her pussy is racist. She wants to emasculate the white man. His dick is racist. And his dick is homeless, homosexual. And he need a bitch that's going to take care of him that's going to remind him of the bald head black dude with HIV AIDS over in Vegas that he in love with. ...to fight. And she's just fighting her way back. The women say it all the time, but honestly, having a baby and pushing out a baby and carrying a baby, your hormones are changing drastically. Especially with our differences. If you look at our differences, big, small, everything else, combining, trying to make a person out of our ingredients, it took a lot from her. It took a, a hormones different, it took a lot from her to create our kids. And I chose my wife also selfishly because of how beautiful she is, how active she is, about how uh, athletic she is. Well, my wife had our kids. And hey, you chose all athleticism. Won't we'll do nothing but see you sit up there and pick up, bitch. You big as a fucking house. You know who you remind me of, bitch. You remind me of Holdor off of Lord of the Rings, bitch. Holdor. 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 You know that big ass giant that didn't have no brains. Your brains is mush. You falling and can't get up. That's why your ass had to beg and now you begging to make sure this income come in. But the views ain't all that impressive. Mm-mm-mm. And just was doing backflips the next day. She's, you know, she's able to tough it through that type of pain and, and just oh, genetically oh. be amazing. She's beautiful. Bye. She's I'm jumping out the window on that one. Give my kids what I can't give them, all that beauty, you know, so. Mm, mm. I'm, not I'm jumping out the window on that one. Like my wife, she makes these videos about how amazing I am all the time, or lifts me up through these shorts and reels. Not something I do. I don't sit here and make videos praising her all the time. So. <laughs> hold door, hold. You guys got a great opinion. bitch. From now on, Brett Miller name is Hold door, hold door, hold door. From Lord of the Rings, bitch. That's just so you remind me of. I did you a favor when I was calling you a Viking, bitch. You the throwaway Viking. You like that nigga on 300 that sold everybody out. You hunchback motherfucker. Hold door. Hold door. I mean, but you don't understand the how lucky I am to have the wife that I have. You know, I didn't permanently put this on my arm. Nigga, you got a tattoo. Thank you for my family. Child, bye. You said thank you for your family because your, your, your family ain't proud of you. Your family know you're a botty boy. Your family know you was sleeping on a maggot infested car, uh, bed with fucking four leaf clovers and shit growing out of it. And you broke one of them four leaf clovers off and, and wished for a bald headed black woman that looked like that bald headed black man that you in love with in Vegas to take care of you, bitch. Bye! Not you. Got that up there talking about this is what, this is what considers to be straight. Nigga, you just like them niggas, them gay ass niggas with all them tattoos on their chest and stuff to make themselves look sexy, but they be at the P. Diddy parties without any drugs they ass be in the air. Because it was Tuesday. Like, I honestly thank her for, for giving me an opportunity to raise so, a family with her too. It, it is such an amazing thing and i'm not going to ever ever cut that off i'm not going to mm -mm. turn an argument and this picture is stage trying to act like that they play with this dude like this all the time them kids don't even know better at this point in time i'm starting to believe her kids been trafficked for her to be in this relationship with this body boy get them kids back to their motherfucking father that is a punk punk and mo punk I seen some still in here. I don't know if y'all missed it or not, but he fed this one right here, his spoon, out some ice cream. He ate out the spoon and then fed it to that boy. 
I beat your goddamn ass if you eat off a spoon and feed it to my boy. Ain't no telling where your mouth be at when you walking around Hawaii looking like a botcha boy, a gym shirt, and we ain't never seen you lift now, motherfucking weight online with some booty shorts and shit like that. You know, aka basketball shorts. And he got the big ass thigh with that big ass booty. Out there advertising and smiling at the men. Bitch, gone, gone somewhere with your botcha boy ass. Not you done ate, then let this boy eat off a spoon with you, and ain't no telling where that mouth in it. Uh huh. Ain't no telling where that mouth in it. Oh, Lord. Into a final decision of, you know what, let's, let's ruin these boys' life. Let's, let's cut off <laughs> what we have, which is actually a great marriage, because for the sake of a stubborn argument, it don't matter how big it gets, it don't matter how silly it gets, it don't matter how mean and aggressive. I'm with her for sickness and health. So, so you can say whatever words you gotta say online, you know, you could be tough about it, you can call me whatever names, but in, in person I know you're all gonna be nice and civil, so nothing you say And you know they block everybody who wanna leave the real comments. He ain't never gonna step to the plate because he a bitch ass white boy. You big for none ass bitch. He's gonna bother Matter me. of fact, you big to be in Diddy Sling's ass bitch. He's sort of videos or breakdowns of how simple I might be for not uh, abandoning my family because we had an argument. Uh, you just, yeah, say what you gotta say, but you just don't get it. You will never leave my wife because she had an argument with me because she said bad things about me. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's, it's, there's not a woman out there that I've ever known that doesn't get upset and doesn't have something to say or doesn't maybe overreact or I ain't hear him take no accountability. Y'all gonna give him a pass? You know if a nigga did something by accident, if a nigga call a black woman a bitch, he gotta take accountability. Not just by the woman that he called the bitch, but all her friends and her friends' friends before he forgiven. This nigga done beat Rose ass and knocked her eyes out like she had thyroids. And y'all sitting up in here, let him blame everything on her. I don't have no accountability. Or what not, women? We call women crazy, but as George Carlin says, men are dumb and women are crazy, but women are crazy because men are stupid. So we put a lot on these women to run our family with inside the home. And then when we get home to praise us and worship us. and then I don't see no muscle definition. Oh, that's just big and soft, bitch. Motherfucker, you from Reno, Nevada, where all them rednecks, them big ass country motherfuckers live at. That's the only thing that you get. You just big and soft. You like a fucking plush doll at this point in time. To do it all over again every day. My wife takes that extra step and helps provide, helps project us into a future that is the best possible option for each one of our kids. There's not many families out there that have a goal, mm. have a way mm -mm. to provide so like the a big home show. for each one of your children when they leave the house. That is an amazing goal, and we're gonna we're gonna accomplish it. We're gonna set our no, sweetheart Jessica. You know I love you, but I got to correct you. Okay, let me highlight it. You said he looks like the big show. No, sweetheart, he wanna look like the big show. He want to look masculine. He want to look like he tough and like he would do something. No, this bitch is scared of a cat. Okay, this is a big ass, bullshit ass, no good, lazy ass motherfucker. <clears throat> how you going to call him the big show? At least the big show had a career and knew how to own everything about him. How the big show going to be the big show if he can't own his bigness? This bitch can't own his bigness. This bitch belong in a Diddy Sling bigness like Lucy and Gree Edge and Clyde Davis had, motherfucker. Oh, Lord. Fuck world with you. I love you, but you're wrong. This bitch ain't nobody but Hodor. Hodor off of Game of Thrones. It's up for life. We're going to solidify these memories of us actually having a family together. We're going to travel the world. We're going to enjoy this life, and we're going to do it because of Rose. I could provide that place where we could just be comfortable. We'll do well. Everybody will live and you know, we'll get by, but Rose is going to make it to where we actually live in this wonderful journey. We're going to get these life experiences because of her. I'm not going Because no of her. Oh, my God. I wish I had. Listen. Now, you know, women be like, oh, they're not. You're bisexual. Let me tell you. I have this misconception that women don't want to be treated how I bitch out these motherfucking dudes. 
So now the women be like, oh, like, oh, okay. That's why you think that I'm gay because I feel like I need to be gentle with you and take it easy and shit like that. But you really ain't met the nigga side of me like that because, you know, motherfucker bitches like to call rape and all this shit or do all this shit later on and say that you coerced up. Nah, bitch, I ain't going to coerce you. So, you know, I treat women very polite, man. And this nigga right here just don't understand the science of it. This man just said that he's going to let the woman take the lead. That's how we know you a bitch. The woman building the life for you, bitch. It don't even matter if she got the motherfucking bag. Nigga, you supposed to be building the life. Throw it. It'd be stupid. Throw a wrench in it and cause issues with my kid's development, cause issues with my development, with my wife, for our future. They, they don't know what marriage is. They trauma bonded. He needed to look straight. And she needed to hurry up and find somebody to play stepdaddy to her kids. That's it. That's all the fuck it is. Uh, plan is the future. Arguments now don't matter. I've, arguments in the past don't matter. I'm not holding on to anything that is irrelevant. And all of that <laughs> At this point, Brett ain't nothing but a puss-ass babysitter. Put a one in the chat if you agree. It was irrelevant. It does not matter. And just create happy memories <laughs> and all these other things that I can't even... Pull out right now. It's been an amazing ah, bye. that rose and some of the stressors that come with it. She deals with 90% of it. <laughs> she deals with all the stress from the outside sources, the spiritual attacks, the emotional stress of staying up. I physically damage myself for this family working. Labor. You physically damage yourself for the family working. Bitch, we ain't never sit. You ain't even lift a bag of rice. You on a forklift that you can barely drive with your whole no ass. Bitch, you physically strain yourself. What the fuck are you talking about? That's how you know he don't even go to the gym. He said him working is physically straining himself for the family. Physically straining yourself at work. No, sir. That, he just gave himself away. How you always wearing these shirts? You want to deal with Nike, but you ain't got no Nike body, bitch. You got a bum-ass body, bitch. You built like a couch potato-ass nigga. Staying up late, working many hours. So I asked about it here. Mentally breaks but the boy in half to create better opportunities for this family to raise our kids. <laughs> to develop Look at the boys. I've got boys that are potty trained by two, walking before one. <sighs> You got boys that are potty trained by two when you supposed to be at work, a.k.a. on the island, hun dick, to get up on your ass so you can come back with calm up your ass over there with your little family that you to use rose for her uterus and pretend we get all of that. Potty trained by two. By who? Who potty training the kids? It is traumatizing for your kids to have to watch your other kids. I remember my little sister used to talk shit when she had to watch me. I ain't looking out for him. Yeah, you are up. You're supposed to look out for your brothers and sisters, but these are kids raising kids. We seen her drinking Hennessy through a water bottle, bitch. In a water bottle at 7 o'clock a.m. in Hawaii, Rose Miller was on Tasha K platform drinking Hennessy through a straw in a water bottle, bitch. You got to be the most low vibrational, destitute ass bitch. Your baby was crying and you told your other kids to get up and take care of that child when they should have been in school, ho. Why this motherfucker walking around the island living his dream, figuring out how many cobwebs he can catch up his ass. No math equations before they even step in school, the ABCs and one, two, threes. She's an amazing, fantastic mother. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick because the battery died on this camera, so final thoughts here. My wife is one of the most amazing wives in the world. Mm. As mm -hmm. mentioned, she does so much for this family. She takes on so much stress for herself. Through this stress, if she has a mental health episode or a mental Brett, bleak twice if you're a victim. Because now I'm starting to feel bad for you. We know how slow you is. Hold door. Hold door. Is she telling you to say all of this? Did she put you in jail in Hawaii and say, if you don't say all of this and go along with this, then you, it's going to be veto? They said, Brett, been want to leave. And she put a case on him. Mm -mm. Women, y'all gonna get enough for trying to run to them white people about these men. It ain't gonna work too much longer, okay? When they before they start not protecting black women, Rose, okay? Get your ass up out of there and stop playing with people. Disorder is getting highlighted, and my response is to leave or dip out. 
I'm a shit husband. And marriage isn't for everybody. Statistically, the divorce rates are through the roof. I recommend knowing the person that you are getting into a relationship with. I had a year and a half to get to know Rose. Every step of the way, I got to know her. I got to learn more about her. I know very much of who she is, and I'm very happy, and we are growing and advancing ourselves as a family. I'm not going to leave my wife for any sort of mental issue. I'm not going to leave my wife for anything she says about me in a moment. Oh, my goodness. This white man is saying... I'm not going to leave my wife for any mental issues. I'm not going to leave my wife for anything. And she going along with this shit? That bitch in danger. She going along with this. He has 100% absolved himself from anything that he's done in this relationship, which include, but is not limited to be her eyes out her head like she had thyroids not even two weeks ago. Do y'all hear this? You know Brett Slow? He don't know how to work no fucking computer and edit a video. She right there with him. They in on this together. In on this together. Brett don't want to be with no woman. Let's be clear about that. Brett will take his child and go. On. That's why he's giving you his opinion, his personal opinion about your mental health. So when him and his family file them paperwork, you and your mono black kids can be out there by yourself, single mother. Again, single mother, divorced the white man that got his kids. Who don't give a fuck about you and the black kid? He ain't never had no connection with him. Adonis gonna get his kids and now you're gonna be by yourself. Picking your fucking head like a chicken. Cause you you running around this bitch already like you a chicken with no head. I'm not gonna leave my wife for anything. This is my family, this is our family. We're gonna grow it and we are are going to fight together to advance us any way we can. Mm, and it is mm. my goal to make sure that we stay strong and we are together till the end. I love my wife. No, I love you my don't. Family. I love this life. And my job is to make sure that my kids and my wife enjoy their life as much as possible. I'm going to sacrifice myself to make sure that they're happy. And if I find moments to where they're not happy or they're going through stress, that's because some of the burden that I'm supposed to take has been put on them. I was already a failure for allowing that to escalate. I was already a failure for allowing that to become a fight. I was already a failure for allowing her to have so much stress on her back to where Wow. A lot of these fights, you guys don't see the beginning. You don't see wow. the middle. You see some of the end because of course, you know, the way it was put out there. In closing, this is my family. There's nothing wow. that's going to break us apart. My wife's mental health is is an issue that we will deal with, and it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers you. I promise you. I can handle anything that gets thrown at me. Usually wow. it only lasts for, you know, a couple minutes, and then we're back to normal. We plan on putting these boys through the most amazing journeys and the most amazing life experiences and setting them up for the future. We plan on mm -hmm. making our marriage the most amazing, most solid, and just succeed together. Thank you for watching. Wow. Like, did she really go along with this? Did she really think that this is cool for you to send a message to say that it's okay for a white man to box you up your head and beat your eyes out like you got thyroids? And then get on here and blame you for everything and say that you're crazy mental health. Huh? He made you sound worse than Jaguar Wright and you just laid there and accepted it and helped him edit the video. We're not interested in that. Ma'am, your views is going down. I'd be ashamed if I had 1.1 million subscribers and I ain't getting number 20,000 views in two days. Your views are going down, sweetheart. So whatever trick, whatever game that y'all got going, it ain't working. It ain't, okay? The people want to see y'all separated. Or y'all check gonna get smaller and y'all gonna have to move into a fucking shoebox. CPS gonna come and get them kids and shit. You keep playing with Judge Fifi. She gonna make sure she gonna make sure that nigga get his kids back. How you over here acting? Acting like you sprung, like T Pain. I'm sprung. The way he got me. You got a whole big ass Viking punk over there that's playing with your mental health and absolving himself of everything that he do behind the scenes just so you can get validated by a white man. Bitch, you dumb. Oh, no. And now I'm fucking way in hell. Any black woman that's out there that ain't with a white man that made at least five times the amount that 
she made at the time of meeting or at the time of when y'all graduated and reached y'all peak, you're a dumb bitch. No. Y'all gonna end up just like Dr. Dre and shit. Keep on with this interracial dating and shit. You gonna fuck around and find out. Let's be clear. Hollywood loves an interracial couple. That's why a lot of y'all keep watching Kings and Queens. They say YouTube get more views than TV shows. We love the interracial market. We do. We watch it. We're excited about it. You pouring money into that and don't even know what you're doing. It's people being strategically placed with the opposition at your expense. To paint a narrative that this is what we love and this is what we want. But it's all a fate. Life is a fucking fairy tale. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel.